So let's see. And pull this pin out. This is how it latches to your bicycle. It says find the wheels. Put this up. And we'll put this up here. Okay. Oh, look what we found in here. The wheels. Here's your other wheel. And the goodies. Allen wrenches, reflective lights, nuts and bolts. If you look right in here, there's a bar, because right now without a bar, it'll just collapse. There's a little bar right here, and looks like this one has an access to it, which is really kind of cool. Just notice this has a locking nut, which has some silicone inside. So once you tighten it, it won't it won't uh, untighten itself. And I'll just tighten this up. Just want that snug. There it is. Really kind of nice that they have a little access door. So now we're going to put this center bar right into this little thing that we just put together. Matter of fact, I'm gonna open this so I can grab it. There it is right there. Comes with a little pin, little cotter pin. We'll put this in here. There it goes. Has the pin come all the way through and latches it. It's pretty tight, which is exactly what you want. You don't want this thing to wiggle around when you're, you got your little fur buddies in there. So now we're gonna put the wheels on. It's got a groove right here. It's a very simple process. If you look right here is what latches. Okay, it's a thumb to release it, you push it in, but to drop it in, you drop it right inside here. It'll go right down to here, right there, okay? And now it won't come out. When you want to remove it, push this in, lift the wheel right out. Okay, again, we'll pop this, we'll just set this in here. I'll push this little pin, and you can see it just dropped right in. Release it, test it, make sure it doesn't come out, and there's your cart. Yay! So it comes with, comes with two reds for the back and two whites for the front. One thing we noticed while putting these on, as you can see here, I'm still putting this one on, is that they had these little black little stripe, little strips here. And when I was putting these on, I thought, well, why would they do that? Well, now I understand why they did that. This protects the dog, okay? There's a bolt hanging out. I mean, it's only a half an inch, it's very small but they put a piece of fabric here to protect the dog so it wouldn't poke them in the eyes or anything like that. That's a nice little touch. So inside, they have little tie downs here if you wanted to strap your dog down. It's you know, just fabric with a little uh, D-ring on it, right? There is that solid piece of uh, floorboard here, right here. Air vents on both sides. The, the screen is actually a heavy duty heavier duty, a port I can feel for the structure. That's what this fabric is for. On top, has an access port for the humans, kind of cool. They get their own sunroof, pretty cool. The front access here has two doors. One is the screen, which I've used for my little buddy so they can watch, go out front and look. Oh my gosh, it's cold outside, so let's not let my little Jack Russell get cold. So we're gonna pull this down. attaches to the velcro right down here in the bottom. That should keep the cold air out of there. But it's also clear so you can see through there. Back, pretty big opening. Screen. Pull the screen down. The back one has a zipper. Of course, you need the flag. All ready to go. For more adventure videos, check out our YouTube channel, Modern Canine Vlog, or visit our website, www.mcs.dog. And until next time, keep your paws on the road.